Okay, we're going to start a painting uh, on the wall today in the living room, and there's Trevor, and he's going to be under my feet the whole time, I've got a feeling. I put a little background blue color on here, and we'll just go from there. We'll do just some reef scenes and maybe a few dolphin or some fish. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. It's a dark day also. It's a lot of rain outside. First, we'll start with our water lines. Just some nice light reflections up at the top, and we'll be able to bring some light down from there. Come down into the center a little bit further so you get a more rounded world look. Don't have to do too much of it because it looks overdone then. We'll be getting rid of a little of this, as a matter of fact, as we go along with some of our detail. Okay? Pick up my other paints. And we'll come in from the sides with some uh, coral reef. And I'm using a little bit of blue and a little bit of red so I can get a deep purple for the undercoating. Maybe just a drop of chocolate in with that too. I'm going to just dab it in and do whatever shape comes to mind. If you haven't been diving, I'm down here in Florida so I've done a lot of diving, but if you haven't done a lot of diving, just look at some books and uh, use your imagination. It's our most important thing anyway. In fact, I think I'll take some uh, up a little bit higher, too. Maybe there's some holes in the reef, okay? It's always fun to have uh, little nooks and crannies because then you can make things come out of them or it can look like you're uh, seeing through to the back area off in the distance. Do some uh, dark plant life type stuff and we'll add some light plant life later on top of that. Just one more layer of interest, okay? We'll do this uh, like in five minute increments because I'm just doing it on my uh, on my Sony. <laughs> I haven't done it on this before. I usually use my webcam, but I was feeling lazy, and I didn't want to set it up. And I really want to get this mural done on my living room wall so that I can paint over it and start another one. Uh, I'm using all just craft paints, inexpensive, quick to uh, you do have to work quickly with them because they dry very fast, but the color fastness is very good. I've used them for years, and uh, if I'm working with them outside, I have to add a, a special, a special uh, clear coat to them so that they can stand up to the sun, but that's true with almost any paint you use outside. I don't know if you can hear the thunder in the background, but we've got a good one coming on here. It's late in the afternoon on a Saturday, and, and it's dark out there. <laughs> it's summertime, though, and we expect that here. Here I'm doing some more tall plants here. Just up and down, make it very random. That's the hardest part of this, and that's something I can't teach. It's something you have to just learn to see. Is how to make things uh, have a natural feel to them. If you do everything in a perfect place, it won't look natural. Okay? And bring that up aside the there. I did 
didn't take this one off. I'm probably going to be sorry later, but again, I was feeling lazy today. It's uh, going to be a lazy, rainy day, I got a feeling. But you can see all I'm using is blue and red here, and a little bit of chocolate, and I don't mean the real kind. Although I just did have a piece of chocolate cake, so that was pretty good. And I don't have as many holes in this part of the wreath. Now what I do is I like to come down and make it come forward. Like we're more in the foreground, okay? And just back and forth with my brush. I'm using a, a chip brush, just like what you get in the store for painting your walls or whatever. These are the real cheap ones, and I like them because they... Uh, set up great into a fine line, like if I press this really fine with some water, I could get a really great fine line off of it. And the nicer brushes, they, they make them a little too nice actually because uh, you can't pull them into quite as fine a line. Anyway, we'll fill that back in where I was showing you. Okay. Now we'll just do a little bit more over here, and that'll be it for this five minutes. Well, maybe I can get some highlights on. Let me see. Just a second. I didn't cover this very well from my last mural. I can just barely see a couple flowers underneath this blue paint. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That looks great. We'll get a little bit of highlight going here now. How about that? And how I'm doing my highlight is I'm adding some straight white to the blue, with just a drop of yellow mixed in. Okay? And then I'm just going to hit that in a few spots for right now. I'm just going to get it started. And I'm just tapping the end of my brush and I'm rotating my brush. If you look really carefully, I'm turning this brush in circles. It's working. Pick up a little bit more just on the edges of the brush. I'm not putting it all over the brush. Okay, there we go. I'm just getting the base down again, so this part doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to come back and really get this fixed up. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. Okay. Let's put a little more yellow on there on this one. To make it, it turns it a little greener, and then we'll put that on these plants here. They're reaching up. Okay. How about that? I don't think Trevor here is very impressed. He hasn't looked up once. He's pretty old, though. He's 14 years old. That's pretty old for an old chocolate lab. Let me get a little more white, a little more blue, okay. I'm just doing this along the tops of what I already had painted on there, if you can see it. Pick up a little bit more. We're almost done. Just putting it in a few spots here because the sun might not be hitting this quite as much. We're also going to have uh, reflections on the sand too. We'll do those in a little bit though. Okay. 
Remember, skip around so you keep it random, so that will keep it natural. I have a saying, and it's called systematic randomization. And it makes really good painting really good. Because it's, it's, what, it's that little secret that's about what nature does all on its own that we kind of have to force. Whoa, and there's some more lightning. Anyway, systematic randomization. There's a certain pattern to it, but you randomize it. Okay, we'll try that. I'll come back in a few minutes.